Welcome to Hyperscale Video Workshop. My name is Brett Green and today I received another delivery on my doorstep, this time from Hannant's in the UK. And inside the box was the Airfix de Havilland Vampire F3. Now, we've had a few vampires before in 148th scale. Uh, Hobbycraft released a family uh, of vampires, I think it was probably in the last century, but they really only bore a passing resemblance to the real vampire, uh, and they were very lacking in detail as well. Uh, Alley Cat came out with a series of resin and multimedia vampires, and they were very nice indeed, but uh, they're multimedia kits and relatively low uh, production, so they didn't get into the hands of that many modelers. So it's nice to see now that Airfix continues its commitment to British aircraft with their uh, Vampire F3. Now, this is, uh, as usual, one of my unboxing videos. It's the first time I've opened the box, uh, and it'll be the, uh, the same time as you actually get to see the contents. So there may be a few little uh, bumps and errors here and there, but I'll fix those up by the time I actually write a, a fully detailed uh, review. So let's just grab the Alpha knife and slice open the little plastic tabs and see what we have inside. So typical of Airfix we have uh, a single bag containing all of the sprues. I guess it's good for the environment but it's probably not that great for the plastic because it tends to scuff uh, as the parts rub together in the box. But um, let's see how they're fared. In no particular order. We have the very distinctive uh, pod type uh, fuselage with the upper wings that are molded in place. So you don't have to worry about a uh, wing root to join on this one. The surface textures are, as you would expect, quite simple. This was uh, essentially a wooden airframe. I know the, uh, the fuselage pod was 100% uh, was plywood. And uh, we also have some detail molded onto the inside of the wheel wells and so forth. We can also see here that we've got ducting in upper and lower parts that go into the body of the uh, the model. And we also have a wing spar that, uh, actually two wing spars, there's the other one, that will make sure that we get the correct dihedral on the, the, um, the wings when they're in place. So that's, it looks very nice. I can't see any molding imperfections. Sometimes there's a bit of a pebbly feel to Airfix plastic, but that's not the case at the moment, this has uh, really nice, smooth plastic and uh, very crisp recessed panel lines. So, good news so far. Let's see what else the box has in store for us. Okay, so the lower fuselage and wings are also molded as one piece. Uh, so, the assembly is going to be reasonably fast because the major parts are are really, you know, it's, it, there, there are not many of them. We have the fins that are moulded to the booms. The booms are supplied in uh, left and right sides, and it looks like the rudders are separate parts as well. But once again, we have really nice, fine, crisp, recessed panel lines and raised where it's appropriate. The third grey sprue we have here includes, ah, now this is interesting, okay, so we have three uh, styles, or two styles of intake, so we got two, one intake for either side, uh, and I believe that um, for the starboard side, there are two different styles, and one of those would be for the F3, and I think one of those would be for the, the uh, FB5, FB9 aircraft. Now, I'll check that, and when I do the full review, I'll confirm that, but it looks like you've got the parts to build possibly later 
versions in the box, even if you don't have decals. So it looks like we have um, we have two seats, two styles of seats. One of them has harness straps molded in place. Uh, we have the horizontal tail planes. We've got the uh, the wing tanks, uh, rudders. We've got um, oh, we've got rounded wing tips here. Uh, the rounded wing tips will be appropriate for the F3 that we're building, I think, here. Uh, and other small detail parts as well. Uh, the nose too. So it, there lots of little detail parts on here. And the fourth sprue, once again, is, uh, is detail parts. So we have, um, we have wheels. The main wheels are flattened and bulged. We have the rudders. We have, uh, we have the pilot figure. It looks quite big, actually. I don't know if he's particularly big, but he looks a, a little bit big from where I'm sitting. Uh, and undercarriage doors, undercarriage bays, and detail parts as well. So undercarriage legs, all sorts of nice little bits and pieces. But once again, all nicely molded, and I can't see any major um, uh, problems with the molding quality. Uh, one of the areas where traditionally you see this problem uh, with molding quality is the pilot figure who often has a gigantic hole right in the middle of his stomach. Uh, but this guy looks reasonably well fed and happy. So that's good news for him and it's good news for us. So that's all the gray plastic sprues. And there's a little itsy bitsy part that's fallen off. So I'll put that in a plastic bag and make sure that doesn't go astray. What are the chances I'll be able to find this when I actually build the kit? And the final sprue is the clear plastic sprue. So let's open that. And we have the canopy supplied in two parts. We have wingtip navigation lights. We have the gun sight. Uh, and it looks like a landing light as well. So I'm not sure if we've got the clipped uh, wingtips in this box. I didn't see it off the top of my head. It might be there, but once again, I'll check that uh, for the, the full detailed text review. And I'll pop this back in its plastic bag so it doesn't get scuffed or broken. Also in the box, we have a decal sheet and uh, it's nice quality. The colors look good. The red and the blue look good. It's satin in, text in texture rather than high gloss, but the quality looks, uh, looks very nice indeed. We also have stencil markings that are supplied on the same decal sheet as the unique markings and national markings. And last but not least, we have our typical Airfix instructions with a little bit of history on the front and uh, just some nice easy to follow color keyed instructions inside and uh, we have a whopping 86 <laughs> steps of construction. Uh, I haven't counted the parts there yet but I wouldn't have thought it was much more than 86 parts. So uh, you've got plenty of detail to go with on, uh, on those instructions. Well, it looks very nice. Uh, I also received today, um, I bought this from Hannes, but they threw in a, a sample of their uh, F3, F5 vampire decals, the extra decal sheet. So I'll be reviewing that uh, next week as well. And it looks like it'll be a good contender for, uh, for this kit. Uh, it doesn't look like a, it's going to be a complicated build, but it is very well detailed. It's, uh, it's nice and smooth in texture, and uh, it's, I think, one of uh, Airfix's better efforts. Well, that's it from me, Brett Green, from Hyperscale Video Workshop. Bye for now.